Hi, welcome back to GH Stitch Club. I'm Mariana, and let's get started on making this really cute little daisy granny square. Today, we'll be using a size four medium weight yarn in three different colors, or you can use two different colors, and a size five millimeter H hook. Sometimes the hook will say five millimeters, sometimes it'll say H, sometimes it'll say both, it's all the same thing. So to start, we're going to make a magic circle, which is this center piece right here. To make a magic circle, you just wrap the yarn around your hand with the tail side facing you, hold it together, and then pull through a loop with your hook. Then you'll chain three, holding it together, one, two, three, and this will act as your first double crochet. Then we're going to double crochet 11 more times into the same ring. So to double crochet, that's just yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. You just want to make sure to kind of hold your ring together when you're first starting it. And then as you go, it gets a little bit easier. And you'll just continue until you have a total of 12 double crochets on your magic loop. And don't forget that your first chain three acts as the first double crochet. So now you have 12 double crochets that you've worked into your magic circle. And this is the part that makes the magic circle magic. You take your tail end and just give it a little tug and it tightens into perfect little circle with a nice tight center that doesn't give a lot of gap. You'll look at the side and you'll see that first stitch that's the top of your first leg, your first double crochet, and you'll just insert your hook underneath that, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop that's already on your hook, yarn over, pull through one more time, and cut your yarn. So now we're ready for row two. To start our second row, we'll just make a slip knot around our hook and insert the hook anywhere on your first row. So you'll pull through a loop and then pull it through that slip knot that's already on your hook. And now you're attached to the first row. So to begin, you'll pull up that loop a little bit to be about half an inch, yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, pull through a loop, and bring it up to that same half inch mark. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull through. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull through. And now you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on your hook. You'll yarn over and pull through all seven loops. Then you'll chain to secure and begin your next petal stitch. That's one petal stitch made. So now we've made 12 petal stitches all the way around our magic circle and we're going to look at the top again, the side, and just insert your hook underneath that first stitch. Yarn over, pull through, pull through the stitch on your hook. Yarn over, pull through one last time and then you can cut your yarn and your second row is done. Make sure to take a moment and subscribe to our Good Housekeeping YouTube channel for more videos. Okay, so now we've made our first two rows and we're going to make our last third row which turns your granny square into an actual square. To start, we'll take our third color, make another slip knot, then you can attach your yarn anywhere on this circle in between the petal stitches. So let me just insert my hook here. I'll yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on my hook. So from there, I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And this will act as our first treble crochet. So to treble crochet, it's very similar to double crochet. You just yarn over two times instead of one. Insert your hook pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. So that's one treble crochet. Now we'll yarn over twice, 
Insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now we have three treble crochets. That first chain three acts as the first treble crochet. So this is the first half of a corner. But now we'll, we'll work all the way around and when we come back, we'll make the second half of that same corner. To continue, we'll chain one and then double crochet three times into this next chain one space. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and that's a double crochet. So we'll make three double crochets in that chain one space. That's three double crochets. Then we'll chain one and make three double crochets in this next chain one space. The patterns for all these projects are in the links below. So now we have half a corner and two double crochet clusters. Then you'll chain one and we'll create a corner into this next chain one space. So to do that, we'll make three treble crochets. That's one. So that's three treble crochets and then we'll chain two for the corner and we'll make three more treble crochets in that same space. So that's what's going to start to form the square on the outside of our granny square. So that's our first corner made and you can see there's one, two, three treble crochets. This is chain two and then three more treble crochets. So that's what's really forming the corner and turning it into a square. Now we've worked our way all the way around our granny square and we just have to make that last corner here. So we will treble crochet three times into that first space where we started. So that's one, two, So we've made three more treble crochets into that first space where we started, and then chain two. And then you'll just insert your hook underneath that first stitch, pull through and pull through the loop on your hook, yarn over, and you can cut your yarn. So now we have our completed granny square, and I'm just going to flip it over and clean up the ends of the yarn on the back. So. For the center yarn, you're gonna wanna use a darning needle, which is a needle with a large eye and a kind of dull point. And you'll just insert your needle under a few stitches, pull through, and then insert it back the other direction, pull through, and then you'll just clip that thread. And then for these others, you can weave them in if you like with the needle, or I just clip them because they have a sort of knot that you created when you ended each row. So they should be pretty secure. And then with this last piece on the top edge, this one you're gonna wanna weave in so that it's not hanging off. So just thread it through your needle again. And you can see that this is the front and this is the back. It just looks a little bit different. So we're gonna wanna take that tail and weave it through the back side. I just thread it down one of the treble crochets and then through some of the clusters here. And then you can just clip the end. So here's our finished granny square. This yellow center is where we made our magic circle and we made 12 double crochets. And then the second row in orange is where we made 12 petal stitches. And then the purple outer is where we made, really turned it into a square with treble crochets on the corner and double crochets on the side. So now you've learned how to make the granny square. You're gonna go ahead and make a whole bunch of these and you can turn it into a bag, 
or a tee like this one, or even a blanket. But to make these projects, you're going to need to seam them together. I'm going to seam using crochet hook, the same crochet hook we used to make the granny squares, and we're just going to seam using a single crochet. So I'm using a white yarn so you can really see the seam, but for your project, you'll use whatever color makes sense for your pattern. As you're seaming, you're going to be inserting your hook under the outside edge of these stitches. So I'm going to insert my hook under this leg and then under this outside leg of the corresponding stitch. You'll yarn over, pull through both, and pull through the loop on your hook. And you can tighten it a little bit. Then to continue, you'll find this outside leg, insert your hook, and the corresponding stitch on the other side, insert your hook on this outside leg, yarn over and pull through. So now we've seamed our two granny squares together using a slip stitch. And you can see it makes this really nice, flat, even seam. So once we've seamed two together, you'll yarn over, pull through, and cut your yarn. Now these two are attached, and you'll just keep going to make a row according to your pattern. So if you want to make the T, all you have to do is seam your granny squares together. And you can follow the pattern in the link below. To make a bag, we're going to make a few extra panels. To make the handles and sides of your bag, we're just going to make panels out of double crochet. So to do that, you'll slip knot onto your hook. And just for this demo, I'm chaining 12. Then you'll count one, two, three loops from your hook. And into the fourth stitch, you will yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you've made a double crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. So you'll continue double crocheting into each loop on your chain. You'll just follow the pattern as to how many double crochets you need to make. So once you get to the end, you'll make one last double crochet. And then here you'll turn your work to the left and chain three. One, two, three. That acts as your first double crochet. And then you'll just continue double crocheting all the way down your row. And you'll insert your hook underneath each stitch. And you'll just continue in this manner until you have the length that you need. Here I've just made five rows of double crochet and you can see how it's working up. It creates this kind of sturdy fabric that we turn into our handles and our sides. Here you can see that I've attached this with a slip stitch similar to how I seamed the squares together. So now that you know how to make your granny square, I hope you try making this tee. It's really super easy. It's just granny squares seamed together. It has a really cute little flare sleeve. There's no tricky parts of this pattern at all. You can check out the link below, and I hope you give it a try.